China's bold move to establish the BRICS development bank is nothing short of a declaration of economic warfare against the U.S. dollar. This audacious initiative is a calculated strike aimed at dismantling the long-standing dominance of the American, a dominance that has enabled the U.S. to wield unparalleled economic power and impose its will on nations across the globe through crippling sanctions and financial coercion. The creation of this bank is a stark indicator that China and its BRICS allies are no longer willing to play by the rules set by Washington. They are crafting a new financial order, one that seeks to undermine U.S., influence and diminish its ability to leverage the dollar as a weapon of global control. The message from Beijing is clear. The days of the U.S. dollars on challenge reign are numbered, the BRICS Development Bank is poised to facilitate trade and investment in a manner that bypasses the U.S. dollar entirely, striking at the very heart of American economic supremacy by providing an alternative financial infrastructure. China and its allies are not just offering new options for international transactions, but are actively encouraging the world to abandon the dollar. This is not merely a financial strategy, but a geopolitical maneuver aimed at realigning global power structures as the BRICS Development Bank begins its operations, the global economic landscape is set for a seismic shift. The world watches with bated breath as this new institution lays the groundwork for a future where the U.S. dollar may no longer be the linchpin of international finance. Stay with us till the end to unravel the complexities and the unfolding drama of this bold geopolitical gambit. This membership expansion is historic. It shows the determination of BRICS countries for unity and cooperation with the broader developing countries. It meets the expectation of the international community and the common interests of emerging market countries and developing countries. Hello and welcome back to Innovative Czech YouTube channel, where we delve into the innovative and transformative projects changing our world. If you are new to the channel and enjoy learning about innovation stories around the world, you've come to the right place. Please subscribe, like, and comment to help boost our videos on YouTube. The establishment of the BRICS Development Bank by China signals a significant move aimed at undermining the dominance of the U.S. dollar. This action is not just an economic maneuver, but a strategic attempt to shift the balance of power in global finance. The intent behind creating this bank is to facilitate trade among emerging economies, bypassing the U.S. dollar entirely, which could potentially weaken the U.S.'s grip on the global financial system. The new development bank AI is stormed by the BRICS nations, plans to issue approximately $5 billion in loans this year, according to Vice President Zhou Qiangu. Speaking at the BOIO Forum, Zhou mentioned that while the bank's operations were impacted during the pandemic, activities are now resuming normalcy. He noted that China and India have been the primary beneficiaries of the bank's investments, receiving more funds than other member countries. Headquartered in Shanghai, the NDB was established in 2015 by Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa. These nations, known collectively as the BRICS countries, aim to leverage this financial institution to promote sustainable development and economic cooperation within their regions. Zhu expressed optimism about China's economic growth predicting it to align with the government's target of around 5 for the year. Just a quick reminder to hit the like button below. YouTube has been restricting my videos a lot recently because of bots, so your like does help out this video massively in terms of the algorithm in YouTube. China's move to create the NDB is seen as part of a broader strategy to challenge U.S. economic hegemony by promoting the use of alternative currencies and reducing reliance on the U.S. dollar. China aims to diminish the influence of U.S. economic policies on the global stage. This initiative also reflects China's criticism of U.S. sanctions, which have often been used as a tool of political leverage by establishing financial institutions that operate independently of the U.S.-dominated system. China and its BRICS partners seek to create a more multipolar world order. The geopolitical implications of the NDA's establishment are profound. It represents a collective effort by some of the world's largest and fastest growing economies to assert greater control over their economic futures. This move is likely to provoke reactions from the U.S. and its allies, who may view it as a direct challenge to their economic interests. In recent years, the U.S. has frequently employed economic sanctions as a means of exerting pressure on countries that do not align with its foreign policy objectives. 
China, often a target of such sanctions, has been vocal in its opposition, arguing that these measures are unfair and detrimental to global economic stability. The creation of the NDB can be seen as a countermeasure to these sanctions, providing an alternative financial lifeline to countries that might otherwise be constrained by U.S. policies. The NDB's focus on providing loans for infrastructure and sustainable development projects also highlights the differing priorities between the BRICS countries and traditional Western financial institutions, while institutions like the International Monetary Fund and, and the World Bank have often been criticized for imposing stringent conditions on their loans. The NDB aims to offer more flexible and supportive financing options. This approach is likely to attract many developing nations seeking to boost their economies without the burden of harsh economic reforms. The U.S. response to the establishment of the NDB and the broader BRICS initiative will be crucial in shaping the future of international economic relations. The U.S. continues to rely on sanctions and other forms of economic coercion. It may find itself increasingly isolated as more countries gravitate towards alternative financial systems. On the other hand, a more cooperative approach could help mitigate tensions and promote a more stable and inclusive global economy. As the NDB begins to expand its operations and influence, it will be essential to monitor how this new financial institution impacts global trade and investment patterns. The success of the NDB could inspire other regions to establish similar institutions, further diversifying the global financial landscape. This shift could lead to a more balanced and equitable distribution of economic power, reducing the dominance of any single currency or country. The creation of the BRICS Development Bank by China is a strategic move aimed at challenging the U.S. dollar's supremacy and countering U.S. sanctions by promoting financial independence and cooperation among emerging economies. The NDA seeks to create a more multipolar world order. The geopolitical and economic implications of this initiative are significant, and its success could pave the way for a new era in international finance. The U.S. and its allies will need to carefully consider their responses to this challenge as the global economic landscape continues to evolve. If you are enjoying this video so far, please don't forget to subscribe, share the video and comment. China's economic ambitions are clear. By reducing reliance on the US dollar, China aims to mitigate the risks associated with US monetary policies and sanctions. This move also allows China to assert its currency. The yuan as a viable alternative for international trade and finance. For years, the U.S. dollar has been the cornerstone of global finance, but China's efforts could gradually shift this balance, especially if the NDB gains traction and support from other nations. The U.S., under various administrations, has used sanctions as a strategic tool to influence international politics. Countries that do not align with U.S. policies often find themselves under economic pressure, these sanctions can disrupt trade, create economic instability, and isolate nations from the global financial system. China's establishment of the NDE is a direct response to these tactics, offering a new path for countries looking to bypass U.S. influence. As the NDA starts to fund projects, its focus will likely be on infrastructure development, renewable energy, and sustainable growth. These areas are crucial for the economic development of BRICS nations and other emerging economies. By providing funding for such projects, the NDB can help bridge the infrastructure gap that hampers economic growth in many developing countries. This, in turn, can foster stronger economic ties between the BRICS nations and other countries that benefit from these projects. The potential success of the NDE also hinges on its governance and operational efficiency. Transparency, accountability, and effective management will be key factors in gaining the trust of member countries and international investors. If the NDB can demonstrate these qualities, it may attract more countries to join or collaborate with it, further diminishing the influence of traditional Western financial institutions. The implications of the NDB's activities extend beyond economics. They also touch on the strategic alliances and power dynamics of international relations by fostering closer ties among BRICS nations. The NDB can strengthen their collective bargaining power on the global stage. This united front can challenge the existing power structures dominated by the U.S. and its allies, pushing for a more balanced and multipolar world order. Critics of U.S. economic policies argue that sanctions often harm the populations of targeted countries more than their governments. By providing an alternative financial system, 
the NDB offers a lifeline to these nations, enabling them to pursue development goals without the constraints imposed by U.S. sanctions. This can lead to a more equitable distribution of global wealth and resources, promoting economic stability and growth in regions that have long been marginalized. However, the U.S. is unlikely to remain passive in the face of these developments. The establishment of the NDB and the growing influence of the BRICS nations pose a significant challenge to U.S. economic and political dominance. In response, the U.S. may seek to reinforce its alliances, enhance its economic strategies, and possibly introduce new measures to counter the influence of the NDB and the BRICS bloc. One possible U.S. strategy could involve strengthening economic ties with other regions and promoting the benefits of its financial system. By highlighting the stability and reliability of the U.S. dollar, the U.S. can reassure its partners and discourage them from shifting towards alternative currencies. Addition, the U.S. might work with its allies to introduce reforms in international financial institutions like the IMF and the World Bank to address some of the criticisms and make them more attractive to developing nations. Another aspect to consider is the role of technology and innovation in this financial landscape. The rise of digital currencies and blockchain technology presents both opportunities and challenges for traditional financial systems. China has already made significant strides in developing its digital yuan, which could further enhance its ability to bypass the U.S. dollar. The U.S. and other countries will need to keep pace with these technological advancements to maintain their influence in the global financial system. Thank you for your attention, and I welcome your thoughts and questions on this complex and vital subject. Do you want to watch more videos like this one? If yes, please like and share the video and subscribe to get exclusive videos about how phenomenally China is developing and growing its influence. Your subscriptions and likes motivate us to generate more content, so please keep supporting us. Check out this video showing on your screen right now, and I will see you on the other side.